What is up you guys, it's Violet Telly here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. Now, as you guys can see, the iTunes shop has just switched over. I literally just went to the bathroom and uh, yeah, it switched over. Sorry about that. But anyway, hope you guys do enjoy this video, but let's jump straight into the featured store. So, starting us off, we have the return of the Marked Man Bundle. Pretty decent bundle. I do like this one. So, let's jump straight in. Let's check it out. Starting us off, we have the grimy skin, respect the drip or else. Now it is reactive, new soul is add a new soul is added to the body with each elimination. Uh, part, of the, part of the marked man set, first introduced in chapter 2, season 6. Now you will see there are souls on the body. Obviously they will be more prominent and they'll glow when you get your eliminations in each game, depending on how many you get. But anyway, souls of the fallen enemies appear on the outfit. But anyway, moving on to the bat bling, we have the Glumbo. He won a munch. Pretty reactive as well, as you guys can see. It's got like a spider sense effect that um, flashes all over the um, bat bling. Moving on to the harvest and tour, we have the graf sorry, graffiti axe. Caution, paint may be wet and sharp. Damn, pretty damn cool. Moving on to the glider, we have the drip dropper. Nozzle up with a friend. Pretty damn cool. I mean, it just looks like a giant ink blot, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I do like this. Moving on to the wrap, we have the Grimlet Grimmels or Grim Grim Grimmels Grimmels. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, it is animated and reactive. If we do fire the weapon, um, it does nothing, but it is animated in terms of the souls will appear on your gun as well. Let's have a look what it looks like on various different weapon types. Pretty cool. Again, it just looks very vague until you actually get the souls on the weapon, which is pretty cool. Moving on to the last item, which is the loading screen. You can only get this loading screen if you buy this Markman bundle. So starting us off, we have the pen and ink pals. Ever try making your own friends? Question mark. So let's have a look. Pretty damn cool. I mean, it's got the base skin himself. Those are what the souls will look like when they appear on the skin. It looks like he's got his glider. Um drawing for him which is pretty cool <laughs> anyway moving away from this that was the marked man bundle i will be doing a bundle on this a bundle video on this later to ask the question is it worth it but as we move away from the featured store we've got the return of the second half of the featured store and we have another bundle as well so i've got my work cut out for me this is the skin that i was trying to pronounce the other day and trying to find out what her name was but i forgot we have the gaia skin as far as she's concerned she's the rightful leader of the clan Part of the Bone Punk set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. Four selectable styles, we have the default, and then we have the blue, which I call the avatar effect for her. You can also have it with the mask off, and then the mask on, which looks absolutely amazing. I don't know why you wouldn't want that off, but you know what? She looks equally badass each time. I never actually realised that on her gloves, she's got raptors there on the left, and then she's got like teeth on the right, which is pretty cool. Moving away from that, we have the tusk. Sorry, we have the tusk and tooth bat bling earned, never given. Part of the bone punk set. Now it does say you can unsheathe the harvest and tools once you have this bat bling and these cross spike tooth axes equipped. You can pretty much you can unsheathe these from the bat bling, which I always think is a nice little um, a nice little thing that they added. I mean, it's very subtle, but it just makes it look badass, like the animation you take them out your back. Pretty damn cool. Surprisingly chewy. They literally have two harvests and tools that are pretty much make up a whole jaw, which is pretty cool as well. But moving away from that, we have the return of the Brat Bundle. So, starting this off, we have the Brat skin himself. Relish the Winds, part of the Missing Link set, first introduced in Chapter 2 of Season 1. Two selectable styles, however minor it is, you can have him with the hat on, or the hat off again. Very, very, very subtle, but... I like the ability that we can uh, switch it on and off, or take it on and off. Moving on to the Contrail, we have the Loose Links. Who wants a dog? Again, epic Fortnite, if you hear this or watch this video, please give us more Contrails than the ones that we can just get in the Battle Pass. Pretty damn cool though, I do like it. Moving on to the Bat Bling, we have the Duffel Dog. A simple dog on a tasty bun, but it was first introduced only recently in Chapter 2 Season 7. Part of the undercover summer set. Five selectable styles. We have the base default hot dog. Then we have the chili duffel dog with like added cheese and onions. Then we have the sorry chili. Then we have mustard duffel dog. 
we have the classic duffel dog and then last but not least we have the deluxe duffel dog <laughs> we've got gherkins in there jalapenos Ooh, looking nice i could do one of them now also i think we've got a sesame seed bun as well which is pretty cool moving away from that we have the harvest and tools we have the knock worst Obviously, if you guys know, that's a take on Brockwurst, which is the German sausage. Knock them out. First introduction to OG Season 9. Pretty damn cool. I might do a bundle video on this as well to say, is it worth it? I don't know, because it has been out for quite a long time. Anyway, moving on to the daily store. We've got some pretty cool skins in here. Starting us off, we have the return of the Brute Gunner. Navigation and Execution. Part of the Brute Squad set. First introduction to OG Season X. And can I just say, we like those, baby! Because, can I just say, she's got those cheeks. Even in like a futuristic suit like that. Pretty much I call this like my futuristic Batgirl. Because I think she looks like a futuristic Batgirl. Moving away from this, we have the return of the Cryptic Skin. Master of Mystery. Part of the Cryptic set. First introduction to OG Season 9. Two selectable styles. We have the Default which everybody knows about and everyone's seen before and then recently enough we had the orange version introduced pretty damn cool got the fire animation on his like joggers there and on the uh, body warmer pretty damn cool also changes the logo and the mask which is pretty damn cool moving away from this we have the spectral spine show him some backbone also oh, show some backbone part of the cryptic set first introduced in og season 9 two selectable styles again we have the default and then we have the orange version, which looks pretty damn cool. I do like this. If you guys know anything about me, I love my holographic paplings. Moving away from this, we have the return of the Daily Store. And we've got some pretty cool items here. Starting us off, we have the return of the bubbly animated wrap, which I call the flubber wrap. Because why not? Pretty much animated over the entire weapon. It's got like particle effects going through. It looks like jello, actually. Pretty damn cool, though. Let's, look what it looks Let's have a look what it looks like on various different weapon types. Not bad. Not bad at all. Moving on to the emotes now, we have the Crazy Feet return. Wild and Crazy Feet. First introduced to OG Season 6. Jeez, that is quick. Yo! It looks like it's been sped up in turbo mode. <laughs> Moving on to the return of the Billy Bounce, which is a traversal emote. You guys know that by now. You do you. First introduced to OG Season 9. Moving on to the last emote, we have the Ground Pound. Take it for a spin. First introduction to OG Season 7, looking pretty damn cool. But yeah guys, that was the item shop for tonight. We still have the Double Agent Pack in the item shop, which we had introduced last night. <coughs> Pardon me, whoa. I think I had a peanut from one of them peanut M&Ms I ate like 10 minutes ago. Ugh, it just came back in my neck. Ugh. Anyway. We have the double agent pack we had introduced last night. We have the return of the Robo Kevin, which we've had for the last couple of days, and the Tech Future pack and the Minty Legends. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope my voice doesn't sound too weird. I'm using my brand new, well, it's not brand new. I've got the headset in November during Black Friday, but I'm wearing the Turtle Beach, um, I think, is it the 500? One sec, I'll show you. Well, I'll show you, I'll tell you. It is the Turtle Beach Recon 500. It is the um, Arctic Camo um, one that I got. But yeah, I hope my voice doesn't sound too weird. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the item shop. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the dislike button. And let me know in the comments down below why you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch a Vibe. And hopefully, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.